Okay. So today we're going to have a quick look at our GPT image one, which is, well, it's been out for a few weeks now. Um, basically, it's a it's a image generator model from OpenAI. Um, previously, it didn't integrate that well with make.com, but now they've made it a bit more native and a bit more easy to do. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to do this little demo and we're going to generate a few pictures and, and you'll be pretty, if you haven't seen it already, you'll be pretty amazed at how lifelike and how quite amazing some of these images are. So basically, let's talk through this particular demo. So I've simply set a, a basic image idea as a variable here. Um, bear in the woods, I might try something. I might try, well, uh, maybe, uh, let's try tiger in the jungle as our image idea. Save that. Uh, what we do here in the second step is create a prompt for a prompt. And this is just a very simple uh, but but very useful way to create prompts for images. Because um, basically the more information you give the image generator, the better the image is likely to be. So let's have a look here at what we're, we're actually using to do that. I've just done a very simple uh, method here so i've used o3 which is pretty recent these days um just to basically create a chat completion we'll wait for the load and we'll see what i'll put in there as a prompt just takes a little while unfortunately is the moment i turn on loom uh everything slows down unfortunately let's just have a quick look at this we'll pause this while it's load okay so we're back here uh all i've done for it to, to use a prompt for an LLM image generator such as yourself, create a prompt based on this idea being the, the tiger in the jungle idea that we had previously. We'll save that. And we'll have a look at the image generator itself. It's actually pretty simple to use, um, much like the Dali style ones that uh, you would have seen before. Basically, we're using now important, choose the right model, which is GPT image one. It, it, the images are far superior to the previous Dali e. Uh, models, even though they are reasonably good for something you do in a matter of seconds. Uh, the prompt is the result, which is the actual result from the previous step. Uh, prompt for an image generation model, and it, and it goes through and creates a prompt there. Uh, in the advanced section, you can create that. You can create landscape. You can create also create square or portrait images. Uh, quality. Now, this is also important to to use the use it to a maximum ability. We want high. Uh, it is a little more expensive to use, but the images are far superior to anything else that I've ever used. Uh, you can choose to set the ba background, otherwise it'll default to auto. Uh, we want to choose, we want to produce uh, one particular image and moderation. Now this is an interesting one from OpenAI. They've allowed you to choose what's moderation one. I'm assuming things like blood or uh, different things that maybe we, in the content filter, we want to perhaps filter out uh, for, for children and stuff like that. Uh, I've chosen it low, so that means it'll have a lower bar to cross when it comes to less restrictive content. But um, I haven't really pushed that too much. So we'll, we'll see how it ends up. We'll save that. And we want to save it to the Google Drive, uh, which I'll, I'll show us in just a moment. So let's actually run this. We'll let that run away and I'll show you a previous image I've created. Uh, let's see if this will load for us. Here's a previous one. Uh, this one's a, obviously a bear in the woods. Uh, we'll see what we actually get with the tiger. We're just going to, I'll pause this while this runs through. It just does take a little while. Okay, so now that automation has run through and the image has been created. Let's have a look at it. Uh, let me just have a look. Okay, I just had to refresh the screen there. Let's have a look at it. I might just pause this while I load the image. Okay, so that took a little while to load, but here it is. Crikey, how lifelike is that? I mean, you've got a tiger there going through the jungle, just as we re requested. Um, you can only just tell it's not real. It's really that good. I mean, I I'm always impressed with the light that comes through on these images that must have been incredibly difficult for our uh, open eye to figure out but that's what's available now and you can just imagine what they're going to come up with next um and just think of the uses for this i mean just the just the content alone i mean all we typed in basically as an input was tiger in the jungle and it's come up with this quite amazing what you can do 
just think what you can post on social media. I mean, that perhaps there's limitations on on what you can post as AI images, but um, it's just next level. I mean, graphic designers, you're in a bit of trouble, people. So, look, just wanted to demonstrate that one, and I hope uh, you found that interesting. Thanks.